All right, today Chad and I are gonna be doing a walk around and test drive um, on one of, in my opinion, the best looking cars we have on the lot today, and that's this 1972 Chevy Nova, uh, painted in a brilliant gold metallic, big black under the hood, just an all around fun car. Such a gorgeous car. Um, it's equipped with front disc brakes, you guys, and we put a brand new set of American Racing uh, Torque Thrust chrome rims on it. Um, the tires are excellent as well, Cooper Cobra, and uh, as far as the treads, a mile deep on it. This is a big block car, and like Dalton said before, you really have to see this paint in person to appreciate the gorgeous color of it. Yeah, it's got a ton of metallic so in it. Um, the Restorer went ahead and put the Nova Rally stripes on it, which looks good. Um, we've had this car running here for about 15, 20 minutes while we were waiting to uh, get something else done. It's got headers, power disc brakes, power steering. It's a fantastic car. The bottom of the hood's all in the nice matte black as well. It does have the four inch cowl hood, I'm guessing. And here's what's cool about it, Dalton. So I have never seen the correct big block um, heater fan and stuff and uh, I'll put in here. Most times they, they sit over here, right, because it won't fit with the big block. So they did that and the heater fan works and everything on here. So very professional restoration. This is a steel hood as well. Good point. As far as our bumpers go, the front bumper is in excellent shape. That's been replaced during the restoration, and so is the back bumper. Both our gaps are nice and even from front to back. This is, I just love the Rally Nova package on this. Oh, I do too, it looks sweet. Another thing to note, uh, as we look at the front end, it does have LED upgraded headlights. Oh, okay, good point. There's another thing I like about it. Just look at the back of the cowl. The hood sticks up just a little bit here, guys. Um, could be a, just a hinge adjustment probably, but the way the back of the cowl meets up to the fender and the top of the uh, door, really gaps are really good on this car. All the way down here to the lower part of the fender, just absolutely perfect. Back corner of the door, it's got a little chip in it at the very edge, but it fits in there just perfectly flush. The paint in most places on this car is show quality as far as the exterior goes. There's just a few minor chips, and then as we go around it, we'll point out it, the jams. But. As we go over top of the, uh, the hood, the rear sail, bodywork is excellent. The car is laser straight from front to back. Brand new back bumper, brand new tail lights, and uh, license plate, bracket, new rubbers here, new chrome around the tail lights as well. Trunk lid fits great all the way around. The back glass is good. Uh, we did install the wheels and tires. We also installed the wheel well trim, which, and a Nova, I mean, it just really sets it off. Um, the chrome around the uh, glass is all in excellent shape here on the passenger side as well. So many times that gets dulled out. Um, new door handles were installed during the restoration. And again, our gaps on the passenger side are perfect. As far as our jams go and what Dalton was pointing out, the jams are more like a base. You know what I mean? They didn't put all the metal flake and stuff on the jams. Not quite as much clear coat, so it's just a little bit duller there. And there's a few little spots you can see that this car was originally red. So like in the inside corner of the door, like way down, sorry about that. Way down in the corner there, you can see there is some red showing through right here in the jams, just on the inside edge there. As we go here to the bottom of the door, you're gonna see that that's a rust-free door as well. Never had any body filler there. Um, same thing with the interior, guys. Beautiful bench seat interior. It's got the correct steering wheel, which uh, it's got 49,773 miles on the odometer. And if that steering wheel's original, it's those original miles. The steering wheel's perfect, the dash is perfect, chrome on the interior is in great shape as well, and so is the paint, black paint on the dash. Headliner's been replaced. Um, we have six by nines in the rear shelf. Yeah. Yeah, nice, huh? Inside the trunk, you guys, is just absolutely perfect. It's all speckled really nice. It's got the correct spare in it. But like with the door jams, the paint's just a little thinner in the 
in the jams. So you can just kind of see a little red, you know, hue. Yep. It's a little red tint around some of the edges on it. It's really too bad. I mean, you do such a gorgeous job on the paint and body on the outside. Yeah, that's one other chip. thing. We got a little tiny paint chip right here on the outside edge. Quarter panels are excellent. Um, driver side doors had just a little bit of work done to it in the corner, so it doesn't fit quite as good as the passenger's perfect. This one sticks out just a little bit on the end. Rocker panel is excellent. All the way from front to back, the bottom of the fenders are perfect as well. Now we had this all cleaned up, we drove it and had to retune it and stuff, so the bottom of the car got a little dirty, guys. Um, back part of the hood lines up perfect here. Cowl, top of the fender, top of the door. Again, that body line is as good as you're gonna get there. A few little paint chips here. That's what Dalton was talking about, just a couple little paint chips right there. Um, door panels in great shape, armrest, pad, base. Seat looks good. Um, does have an oil pressure gauge down here, guys, an uh, aftermarket one. Electric fuel pump. There's your heater fan, guys. Yeah. So the heater fan works great. Now electric fuel pump, as you know, is it quieted right mm -hmm. now. Just when I first started pumping it. And that's the thing. We uh, had this run for 20 minutes, so that starter was getting a little warm, but still didn't diesel yeah. or, you know, it worked fine. Yeah, I forgot. We had somebody come to buy some wheels and tires, and I let this thing run out here for like half an hour, but it didn't overheat, so. No. That sounds good. Sounds awesome. So, really nice AM, FM digital radio, okay? Um, wipers work, heater fan works. The horn needs just a horn. You can hear it clicking, so nothing serious in the steering column, so. And the other thing is the indicator works. Yeah, which, that's not very yeah. often you see that. Power steering, power disc brakes. There we go. That's better. Um, when we had the detail department, uh, we took it out for a test drive the other day, and uh, Jason got the distributor a little wet. And uh, it didn't run as good, did it? No. Now it's running like it was yeah. before, so it's We good. do have uh, 235s on the front, you guys. So we have a little bigger tire on the front. And unfortunately, we turn hard left, we do have a little bit of uh, um, tire rub. Sometimes uh, on those power disc conversions, sometimes they're just really touchy. This one's not. Yeah. Buddy car. Check this out, coyoteclassics.com. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.